Hi Gemini, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing your love reading for the month of June. This is for any Gemini looking for any guidance and love messages for their uh, daily lives. So let's see what we have for you today, Gemini. Again, it's always a chill vibe here with me. We're just here having a good time and we don't take ourselves too seriously, okay? Uh, I have one card today from uh, Doreen Virtue's Romance Angel Oracle deck. Then we're going to draw nine cards from the Rider Waite deck for past, present, and future. Then we're going to follow with a couple more uh, new decks that we have here today. Okay, guys, please leave in the comments if you guys like any of these decks. Uh, I have a really special one at the end here that we're going to draw uh, as an affirmation later. And it's going to be uh, pretty interesting. Okay. All right. So Gemini, let's begin with your reading. What do we need to know for Gemini for the month of June? Universe, let's get a message for Gemini. All right. I'm going to cut this deck and we'll draw our card. So Gemini, your message this month, religious factors. Okay. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. There we are. So very interesting. Gemini, some of you can be dealing with a religion, of course, and those of you who aren't religious, it's more about your beliefs, your belief system, what you're accustomed to, how you've grown up, what path you're on spiritually, okay? You are heavily influenced here, or there is some sort of message that you need to get here, okay? So, how is this influenced? Are you meeting someone in uh, a church or a community or a religion here? A religious group for some of you? For others, I'm even seeing, Gemini, that it could be something that you very much enjoy, a community here that you belong to, that's very that you're very loyal to, that has a, a unique group of people. This could be someone that you're meeting there or that you already are dealing with or potentially. So let's take a look and see what we have for you, Gemini. I'm going to draw three cards right now for you, and that will be for your past energy. Okay. Okay. Our first card we have here is the eight, sorry, seven of pentacles. There we are. Your next card. Universe, please give me the next card here. This one's popping out. We have the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay. And one more card for you. What else do we have for Gemini? Universe, please give me one more card for Gemini. I feel like this one's coming out. So we have the Three of Cups in reverse. Now we're just going to put this aside for now. We'll get back to that in a bit. So, Gemini, I'm seeing a lot of you in the past have been working towards something, a goal. Some of you may have left a situation. Some of you ha may have been in a heated argument with someone. Some of you may have avoided conflict uh, at all costs here, I'm seeing. Or you were avoiding people or you were isolating yourself and not being able to love here. I'm also seeing for others uh, that there is some sort of um, upset. I'm seeing that you planned something and something happened that disappointed you where you were either uh, broken up from a group of people here or uh, something happened in your community here where you felt as if you were isolating, you had to isolate yourself here and someone must have done something to you or you did something to them and now you're avoiding them, I'm getting, okay? Let's just start with the first card and we'll get more into detail here. So I do see here with the Seven of Pentacles that this is a card of investing, okay? Investing your time, investing your energy, Gemini. Some of you could be investing in uh, some uh, career. So you may be working hard towards something. You may be seeing yourself grow okay where you're at right now in your position and there's potential for more and better uh circumstances here for you okay uh for others you're working towards uh being more respected here 
get, uh, building your self image, building who you are as a person and growing and you're learning so much right now, or you were at least, okay? This was a time of, for you to grow. This was a time for you to expect uh, to reap rewards later on. This was definitely something of um, a really constant part of your life here that you enjoyed. You may have been working towards a relationship with someone and that person or people that you were maybe pursuing, that could have been energy that you were putting into these people, okay, and time and building relationships. And a lot of you felt as if things maybe have fallen apart here because I have the Five of Swords. And usually this is about uh, the opposite of uh, kind of squanders and, and battles here, but I'm seeing that someone walked away from a situation. Some of you definitely felt as if you needed to leave a situation because things were too uh, dramatic here for you. Some of you felt as if you didn't want to put up a fight anymore. And for others, this card can also mean that you're no longer um, having conflict and there's some sort of reconciliation going on here to the extent I'm not sure. But the next card we have for you, which can explain some more, would be the Three of Cups in reverse. And this is a party of social, social networking. <clears throat> you enjoying yourself, okay? <clears throat> I'm seeing here that some of you may be avoiding these groups or communities that maybe some of you belong to. You may feel isolated in some way here. Uh, for others, you have stopped associating with this person. Maybe you aren't going to the things that they're at, okay? You may be avoiding each other when you're at the same places if you are there together. Um, but there's some sort of separation here and I'm seeing that this bond or trust, something is broken for some of you, okay? Let's move on and see for what we have for your present energy. So, Gemini, what else do we have for Gemini? <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, first card we have is the Nine of Swords. All right. What else do we have for Gemini? Universe, please give me another card for Gemini. We have two. I think this one came out first. So first we have the King of Wands in reverse. And next we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. All right, <clears throat> Gemini. Wow, okay, so I'm seeing in your present energy for June. <clears throat> Remember, this is going to happen when you watch this. So if it happens to be a little bit later in June or a little bit before, it's going to be basically happening to you in this present moment or not so long ago. Uh, the Nine of Swords we have for you first. Uh, let's just go through each card because I feel like this is better described that way. For a lot of you, you're going to be worried about something. I'm seeing that there is some sort of situation where some of you either had to break free from someone or you found yourself in a situation where you embarrassed yourself, I'm getting here. Or you may have done something to ruin something, okay? Either you said something or texted something I'm getting here or something happened where you can't find yourself uh, wanting to engage with the person that you're dealing with right now. And I'm seeing that you're worried about whether or not you can salvage this relationship or even if you should even continue. And you think about it a lot. And sometimes in your dreams, you think about things. Sometimes in your, in your subconscious, you daydream about it as well. And you wonder about scenarios and situations. And then they don't come to, and then you worry about it. Okay? I'm getting here that the person that you're dealing with can have this fire energy sign here with the King of Wands. This could be someone who is a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And for a lot of you, there is someone here <clears throat> who doesn't necessarily feel the same passion towards you. This person may feel as if they are 
flirtatious, but then they suddenly um, take it back in some way, or they act a certain way around you, and then they uh, sometimes when you try to get some sort of reciprocation, they confuse you by acting a different way here. I'm seeing that they're occupied, so there may be other people that they are pursuing. <clears throat> There may be someone right now who you're not able to flag down because they're not being, uh, you can't control this person. They basically are a free spirit and they do what they want to do. Okay. I am seeing that you think that they are attractive and they're someone that you have a, definitely a, a connection with, which is why you feel some of the uh, pain here and you think about this person a lot. Now with the six of pentacles in reverse, some of you Gemini will be thinking about um, maybe not giving in anymore. And this is normally a, a, a card here in terms of finances. Some of you can be dealing with money here, okay, where you're giving something towards something and you're not getting the money back I'm getting here. Some of you, if it's not money, it's dedicating your energy to this person and giving your time. Time is worth money to you, okay, Gemini, and you don't want to waste it. So a lot of you find that you don't want to give this person any more of your time and your energy and your commitment here, okay? You are upset in a way. Some of you just don't see why these things are going on. So for others, like I said, if this is someone you're dealing with in a community or in a group here, religious group, or you've met them during some sort of spiritual path here, okay? There is still potential here I'm seeing. It's just you have decided right now to basically not deal with this person and stop giving that energy. So now let's take a look at your future energy for you, Gemini. <clears throat> what else do we need to know for Gemini? For the month of June universe, please give me three cards for the future. Oh, we have one here. It's the Ace of Wands. Okay. Universe, please give me two cards. Universe, please give me two cards. What else do we need to know? Oh, well, this is too many, so we'll start that again. I did want to use it, but it's too many cards, guys. Okay. Okay, we have one here. It is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And one more card for you. What else do we need to know for Gemini? That's too many. What do we need to know for Gemini? Universe, one more card for the Gemini. Doesn't seem to want to come out today. Okay, that seems like it. There we go. It is the Four of Cups in reverse. All right, Gemini. So let's finish this future energy for you right now. Definitely seeing some sort of new opportunity here, new love, new passion here. Someone new, of course. This could be someone who may not have a lot of money, but they definitely see some, seem like someone who's open and they're not selfish or stubborn in any way. And they're looking for love and they have an open heart. So let's see what more this is all about. We have here the Ace of Wands. So this card represents new opportunity, excitement, new energy here, okay? This could be a new date, a new lover here. This could be someone who you've known for a while too. This could be the person that maybe things start working out, but I'm also seeing it as a new opportunity. So it's definitely gotta have new energy. Um, and it could be someone that you know or not know, okay? Now, you have some sort of flirtatious energy here with this person. There's sexual attraction as well with the wands energy here. Fiery, sexy, and passionate maybe even, okay? There's like a magnetic attraction between the two of you. And this is someone who you're, who's going to spark your interest. New beginnings new friendships that may lead into a relationship even, okay? So, whether it's happening to you right away or it's slowly building, that is entirely up to your story, okay? So, the next card we have is the Nine of Pentacles and in reverse though. So, 
I'm getting here. This this is describing the person here. Okay, they may be someone who is not yet financially stable. They may not be、uh, in a solid career. Some of them may not be working or employed here. They could be some sort of、uh, other kind of. Uh, irregular. I'm getting here irregular with their career. So they may be an actor or like a model or something where they're working occasionally.、Um, I'm also even getting that a lot of them.、Uh, there could be some insecurity issues here, okay? And some of them may feel insecure about what they have,、um, but they're generally still a good person here. I would say that they are just not as independent as they want to be right now. And some of them feel as if they are,、um, they could be in a better place. I'm also getting maybe there could be a roommate situation here for some of them, okay? But that's only for some of you. Now, next we have the Four of Cups in reverse. So this is an energy of、um, maybe even missing an opportunity. But because it is in reverse here, I'm seeing this stubborn energy gone, and a lot of you. Are going to be dealing with a very open person here. This is going to be someone who lets their feelings out. They're very comfortable with who they are here. Okay, and you're gonna see and respect that this person, what they have to offer here, instead of you being bored, you're gonna feel very、um, lucky. Okay, I'm gonna say lucky because this is someone who you connect with on an emotional level. Okay. And they they almost seem to get you right away, so please look for that、uh, in this person, whoever this is. Now, let's take a look and see. There's definitely potential for a new love here,、uh, and also for you to get over certain people here that are not serving you or taking your energy away. So, what other messages do we need to know for Gemini? Universe, let's get one card here from this other oracle deck that we have. There we are. Let's see what we have. So, Gemini, your message is bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. Just like I said, there's going to be a new beginning for you, Gemini, and this is going to be a new bond for you, a new relationship, and it will build. And this person who wants to build up their empire or their career still has the opportunity to do so because things will grow as you continue to、uh, both evolve. Okay, whether this happens right away, there is definitely an attraction here. And again, you could be influenced by someone in a religious group, or inspired or influenced by your religious group or community group or spiritual path that you're on. Okay. And it's influenced by your religious upbringing, so you may just be doing acts of kindness, or doing charity for some of you, or you know, doing what influenced your life and your values, and meeting this person in that setting. How interesting. Okay, so let's get one card. This is going to be our last deck. I'm going to show it to you here. It's called Listen, Bitch. Okay, and you know what? We take that word、uh, very lightly here. It's not used in any derogatory way. Uh, this deck is a Canadian deck. It's brand new. It's、uh, designed by two Canadian women, I believe, and、uh, you can get it on Amazon or Holt Renfrew or any. You can look it up online and find it. Anyway,、um, it's a fun little deck here, and it's going to just、uh, lift up the mood for the end of our reading here. Okay, so Gemini, what else do we need to know for Gemini? All fun here, guys. I hope you enjoyed the reading, and let's find out what we have. Okay. So, Gemini, let's get one card for Listen, Bitch, please. Listen, Bitch, please. Okay. What else do we need to know for Gemini? Okay, this one came up first, so we'll take the top. All right. So, your message or affirmation here will be: Listen, Bitch. Tell the negative assholes in your head to sit in a corner for a lifelong timeout. Assholes in your head to sit in a corner for a lifelong time. Guess what? You're not dealing with these people anymore. You're not going to be wasting your energy or worrying, just like with the nine of swords in reverse here, and giving your time 
to someone who doesn't feel the same passion and attraction towards you and they don't want to give you their time. Why? Put them in a corner, get rid of them, and open yourself to the new love that's going to be coming your way. All right, Gemini, I hope you guys enjoy the reading. Remember, if this doesn't resonate with you, I'll have other ones coming up for you soon. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and notifications and don't uh, also the comments. I really appreciate that. It helps me with growing my channel, guys. Uh, I really appreciate you being here tonight and bye for now.